Hey guys, this is Patrick Slimy, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. Now, here's what I'm go- Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, forgot that I got poisoned. Somehow I got poisoned. Uh, shit. Let's just use a full heal. Instead of waddling all the way back. Um, yeah. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the correct path. So, it's left bottom. We'll fight this guy just because. So left bottom will bring you to the this room, and honestly, it's pretty simple to get through this gym. Obviously, you have all these warp pads that bring you to random locations, kind of. But like I mentioned before, I kind of explained it poorly. But they always bring you to the same place. But if you don't have a walkthrough, this can be a little bit difficult. But um, I just looked up, looked it up really quickly, so it's not like the ice path all over again. Because I kind of learned from that mistake. Because I thought it would be fun just to show me, you know, trying to figure it out. But if you guys know me in puzzles, I'm way too stupid to figure out what what am I like what I'm supposed to do. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> but. I actually do kind of remember that I did kind of remember this puzzle like when I watched the walkthrough from uh, Emmeth. Oh shit. Yeah, that's who I found it out from. And um, yeah, I just watched his video really quick and this is the way he got it. He got it in four simple things. Uh, there's no one in this room, I believe. Yeah, there's no one in here. So you're going to go on the top right. And then let's just fight this lady. Look at me. <laughs> Again with that fucking laughing. Oh my god. Nobody laughs like that. Stop. Nobody does. Like, can you just put like LOL, LOL, LOL? But no. I mean, really, Miyamoto. I don't even think Miyamoto friggin' worked on this game. I'm not sure. I should go look that up. But I don't know. You know how it is. We, we let's players, we just blame Miyamoto for everything. We could be playing a Konami game. And no one says, Kojima! No, we scream, Miyamoto! You know? He, he's just, you blame him for everything. That's what you do. And I'm sorry if I'm spamming the Obsidian right now, but as you can see, he's level 47. I want to beef him up a bit. And, um, yeah. So I'm just going to show these fights. I'm going to show you how to get to Sabrina, and then I'm going to turn back around. <laughs> as, like, dumb as this gonna, is going to sound. I'm going to turn around. And then I'm gonna go through the entire gym and just fight everybody. Because the thing is, um, I don't know if I explained this earlier, but the thing is, you can't... Like, I'm gonna off-screen all those, all those fights, of course. I just wanted to show a few trainers. Because there's at least, like, five or six trainers in this gym. But once you defeat the gym leader, if you don't fight those trainers beforehand, they won't fight you. They'll just be like, oh, I respect you, or some bullshit. So left bottom, and here she is with the red hair. Why didn't they just give her black hair? I don't know, because I have black hair. But, yeah, guys, so I'm gonna cut right here, and then I'll bring you guys back, and I'm done fighting through this gym. Okay, guys, I think I got everyone. I was actually surprised. There was only one trainer to beat. So, um, I'm not gonna spam Obsidian in this fight, because that's gonna make it pretty, like, too damn easy, because she can't really do much to me. So, I'm gonna give... I'm gonna give MVP some time to shine, see what he can get done, and you know, just switch around, and if I absolutely have to, if I'm in an emergency situation, I always have Obsidian to fall back on. But the thing is, I really doubt that's going to happen, because I'm, I mean, she's honestly, even in the first generation, I consider her the hardest gym leader, just because in first generation, Psychic is so hard to get around, especially, because the dark type didn't exist. So, you're dealing with, like, I mean, you could use, the only weakness it had was ghost type Pokemon. And of course, the only ghost type Pokemon there were was Gengar. The Gengar family, you know, Ghastly, Haunter. And they're weak to, um, to balance them out. They're weak to Psychic, because they threw the poison in there. Like, my my theory is they threw the poison in there, just so, um, they had weakness. Because the thing is, ghost-type Pokemon in first gen, they were only weak to other ghost-type Pokemon. Just like how dragon-types were, but at least dragons- Okay, this is not working out. I'm getting so pissed. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, MVP. You're the MVP. 
Don't be missing and shit. That ain't cool. But yeah, so they threw the poison in there to, you know, balance it out so then it can be weak to, like, ground-type Pokemon and... You know, since you're being a dick to me, it's probably gonna knock me out, but if it doesn't, this better hit. I'm gonna be really... Yep. Okay, you know what? Fuck you. We're gonna have that classic epic battle because that lady just pissed me off. <laughs> lady just pissed... Sabrina just really seriously pissed me off. And just to be a dick, I'm gonna confuse you. Fuck you, man. Could, it didn't affect... Okay, now you're really starting to piss me off. Just die. You're really pissing me off now. Yeah, I don't know. First gen was kind of awkward. I mean, the typing. Some, some of it, I don't know. But I think they did pretty well, though. I mean, come on. Like, first gen is classic. But, I don't know. It's just kind of weird, because Gengar, like... It'd be hard to get by with Gengar in this gym. So I think that Sabrina was probably one of the most difficult... Um, at least for me, she was one of the most difficult. But yeah, that Espeon fucked up my team. I'm ashamed of... Just ashamed right now. Uh, let's use Struggle. I used you. Let's use Naked. Naked didn't get any action in the last fight. You know, I should, I should, just, I should just release MVP because he's not doing his job correctly. No, I, I'd never do that. That's just cruel. You don't do that. Let's Thunder Wave this bitch so he doesn't give me that bad of a problem. That bad of a pro- Oh my god, I can't speak today. Come on, Naked! Naked, no! Thunder Wave. Boom. Paralyzed. Cool, now we get to go first. Okay, now you're about to get fucked up. Thundershock. Oh, wait, why did you just use Thundershock? I meant to- God damn it. I meant to use Thunder Punch. Oh well. Whatever. What are you gonna do? 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 You guys can tell I'm just fucking around with Sabrina right now, right? I'm not, like, I'm not even, like, trying my best to win. I'm just, like, teasing her. Because I know I'm gonna win. There's no fucking way. She's gonna... You motherfucker. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. If you're gonna be a dick like that, I'm gonna be a dick too. Thunder Punch, again. Let's get this fucking thing out of my face. This thing's pissing me off. Okay, naked, you did terribly. Naked, you didn't do so good. MVP, I'm pissed off at you right now. Mr. Mime, who are we gonna use? Who are we gonna use for Mr. Mime? Let's use Sandy. Just because I like Sandy. Maybe we'll use some, uh... Now this is good. This is gonna be like a... A fight to the death right here. Defense. Mr. Mime is a very good Pokemon. As stupid as he is. Like, as stupid looking as he is. He's a very good Pokemon. Defensively... Awesome. Just... And when he gets those Reflex up and all those fucking shields and everything. Fucking man, he is good. I would actually probably use him in this Let's Play if I was able to get him early. Because the thing is, you can catch him by Pallet Town. But, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to wait. I'm not, like, who waits till the after game to get their f sixth member? That's retarded. You know? So yeah, we get the Marsh Badge. Come on. Yeah, I'm a celebrated and beloved champion. I know I've been a champion for like two episodes. How the fuck do I get out of here now? Think over here? No. Shit. Wait. Here we go. And then right here. Shit, no! Fuck. See, we... <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get out of here. There's one more thing I want to show in this episode. Let's go over here to some... We're just going to break into somebody's house. Let's just take a little stroll. This is actually the house I was looking for. So yeah, who's this? 
My daughter is so self-centered. She only has a few friends. Okay. It's funny because usually self-centered people usually hang out with other self-centered people. So her nickname is Copycat. Okay. Alright. Whoa. Hey, you are not aware allowed to wear the same clothes as me. That's like girl rule number one. You're breaking girl code. Seriously, I'm not going to have that bullshit. I'm going to steal her toys. This is a rare Pokemon, huh? It's only a doll. Yeah, all you have is dolls. You have no friends, bitch. You can't dress like me. I'm the fucking Pokemon League champion. Disrespectful little cunt. Oh, God, I said the C word. Oh, well, whatever. I'm a girl. I'm allowed to. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, guys, never mind. We're gonna leave Saffron City. I just cut out, like, I know that that cut was pretty awkward, but I kind of recorded something I didn't mean to. I made a mistake. Whatever. I remembered something differently. But here we go. There's no more annoying tree here. And where are we? We are in the famed Cerulean City. Here we go. Now, there's that girl from Slowpoke. She's still there. We can't get Bulbasaur, sadly, here. But these people are still here doing their job. They're old now. Apparently, you age really quickly in three years. Here's this... Ugh. Here's, here's a guy who will tell you all about badges. Or maybe he's in, um... He's over there. I don't know. I don't really remember this part very well. Oh, isn't this the... Aren't these the, the people with the... Yeah, now they have a diglet. We were held up by robbers. Oh, okay, so you're just gonna keep... It's been three years and you're still gonna tell people that. I heard that some shady character is skulking about. I won't stand for it. If he turns out to be a thief. Wow, I, I read that so awkwardly. But okay, let's... I don't give a fuck about these people. I'm not... I'm a Pokemon League champion, you know? I'm gonna stop doing what people tell me to do. And so let's see. Let's go fight Misty. And she's not there. God damn it. Skank. Where could she possibly be? Oh, let me guess. She's up north, isn't she? Probably macking on some random ass dude. That isn't Ash, and Ash is probably really pissed right now. But it's okay, because he gets a new girl. Every single season. Yeah, that, that guy's gonna bitch about Spoolie and Cape. I can't really remember what he does. I'm too lazy to look, though. Let's just head up here. Let's go drag Misty by the hair back to her gym so we can beat her. Steal her badge. But you know what, guys? I guess we'll do that in the next episode, because we have some trainers here. And I guess they moved because down here isn't cool enough. And no, you can't catch Mew in this game. But this is where you would if you did the glitch. And like, I think it's Pokemon Blue. Yeah, it's something with an Abra, some bullshit like that. But yeah, um, where you get Charmander, there's now a little bush. And you get a potion. Ooh, woo. Like I needed that. Alright guys, in the next episode we're going to head this way because these guys are obviously um, mandatory fights. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.